courts. All men are created equal. A novel that highlighted racial fault lines in America's Deep South. To Kill a Mockingbird tells the story of a small town Alabama lawyer, Atticus Finch, who defends a black man accused of raping a white woman. Is this the man who raped you? As narrated by six year old Scout. All of a sudden, somebody grabbed me, knocked me down on the ground. The book sold 40 million copies worldwide, became a modern classic, and was widely taught in schools. But its author always retained an air of mystery. Harper Lee was born in 1926 in Monroeville, Alabama. We had to use our own devices for our entertainment. We didn't have much money, nobody had any money. We didn't have many toys to play with. Nothing was done for us. So the result was that we lived in our imagination most of the time. She grew up planning to become a lawyer, but moved to New York and worked for an airline while writing her novel. At the age of 34, her iconic text was published and won a Pulitzer Prize two years later. But Harper Lee became famously reclusive. This is a rare public appearance when she received an honour from President Bush in 2007. Her book started to be seen as a one-hit wonder. The author even said she wouldn't publish again. Until last year, when a manuscript written before Mockingbird was found. I was blown away. I was shocked. Um... I felt like I was being handed the most sacred thing I would ever hold in my hands. Go Set a Watchman tells the story of a grown-up Scout Finch discovering her lawyer father Atticus is in fact a racist. But the book was published in somewhat controversial circumstances, with debate over whether Harper Lee had really given her blessing. In recent years, the author had moved back to Monroeville and was in poor health, living in a nursing home close to the house she had grown up in. The town's residents fiercely protected the privacy of the woman they knew as Miss Nell. Harper Lee died in her sleep. She was 89 years old.